For about 15 years, I've been under what you might call intrusive surveillance, especially in the last 10 years, especially since about 2014. Uh, by intrusive surveillance, I mean, there's been no attempt to keep it secret. Um, the only purpose is to disrupt my life. Um, one of the things they do, I mean, the things they do are really stupid. But one of the things they do is, is they're stopping me or they're trying to stop me from, or they're trying to make it very difficult for me to go swimming. Now, I live in a small town called Millam and the nearest um, swimming pool, the nearest public authority swimming pool is in Barrow, which is a, a railway journey away. So I'm going to show you what happens when I try and um, book a ticket um, for swimming. Lane swim is what I do. So date, Friday. I'm going to try and book for Friday. Um, search. Um, lane swim, so eight o'clock. I, I do the eight o'clock one because you can never really be sure that the early train's going to run. Whereas I get a couple of trains by eight o'clock, so I, I do that. Right, now I'm going to I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. You have to accept terms and conditions. Now I'm going to put in my barcode. My barcode for over 65s. I'm a pensioner. It says you can only make this booking not days in advance on 18th August as the advance period is restricted. That's not true. I mean, that's just not true. When I was at the pool, I talked to the woman there, and um, this was on Monday. On Monday, I booked for Wednesday. So on Monday, I'll show you this booking I've already made for Wednesday. And um, here we go, 8 a.m. and it says member already has a ticket for this session now this session is tomorrow and I booked that yesterday but you've just seen when I'm trying to book a ticket for Friday it says I can't do it um, on the seeming grounds that I can't use too much in advance. But that's not true. You can book days, weeks in advance. This has been going on for, well, since at least June. This is the one I tried to book on June the 12th. You can only make this booking, get numerous, stupid, this is one I tried to book on July the 14th. Can't add a member ticket. Uh, these are just spurious nonsense. Um, this is one from uh, August the 6th. Can't add member ticket. And this is one from um, August the 13th. Well, it's been going on since June the 12th, July the 14th, August the 6th, August the 13th, August the 3rd. It's been going on since at least June the 12th. This is what's really happening. Intelligence is usually about collecting intelligence. Mm. That's what Western intelligence agencies tend to do. Uh, you then get into the area of disruption, disrupting um, uh, uh, terrorist cells, for example, so they can't carry out activities. We've seen the Israelis disrupting the, uh, the uh, uh, Iranian nuclear uh, uh, program uh, recently. That's sort of, um, active operations, if you like. Uh, but the Russians do tend to go further at times, and they go into the realm of assassinations. Well, I'm glad I'm not a Russian, that's all I can say. Um, so, I mean, from that I would take it that if I was uh, some kind of terrorist or if I was uh, disrupting a nuclear installation, 
um, then um, it would be perfectly reasonable to disrupt my life. I'm not doing any of those things, by the way. Liberty, uh, which is a kind of voluntary organisation that um, exists to try and support human rights, uh, it, it talks about intrusive surveillance and it says, the police and intelligence services can carry out intrusive surveillance but this must be authorised by the most senior police officer in the force or by the Home Secretary. Now, that's fine. Um, I, I, you know, I can, I can live with that. I think, for example, if there was an IRA cell, it would be perfectly reasonable to um, disrupt their activity. Um, but the most senior police officer, what police, senior police officer is going to say after 15 years of intrusive surveillance, it's still reasonable to carry on uh, doing it to a 70-year-old man uh, living in uh, Millam, um, who um, is left wing of politics, therefore not a member of one of these banned fascist groups, and therefore not a... I'm poor, I don't have any money, I don't get any, I've got no um, uh, wealth from uh, organised crime. I'm not a terrorist, I'm not a spy, I know nothing about um, uh, anything that would make it worth me spying on anything. So the grounds for authorising intrusive surveillance are stricter, stricter, I was talking earlier about uh, surveillance. It can only be authorised in the interest of national security. I am not a threat to national security for the purpose of preventing or detecting serious crime. I do not. I'm not a, not a criminal. I never have. I've got no criminal record. In the interest of economic well-being of the UK. Well, that would be nice if I was important enough to actually have anything to do with the economic well-being of the UK. I am not. I am not.